bring up golf. Well, I'll bring it up right now. This is a tangent. I'll get back to feelings in a second. Back in the days of the grandfathers, they used to have these all gentlemen clubs. They were called golf clubs. Gentlemen only, ladies forbidden. And the men would get together and they'd smoke cigars and they'd drink beer and they'd go out and they'd play this game where they hit a ball around. And eventually they called that game golf. And I've never golfed and I've never been to an all men's club because I grew up in America. <laughs> and uh, by the time I got around, the ladies all said, you know what? No more men's clubs. You can't just have men's clubs. You got to include the girls. And they made us get rid of the uh, all gentlemen clubs. They made us let the girls play little league with us. They made us let the girls into Boy Scouts of America. They wanted to make everything equal. And then as things turned out, and all of us men were being raised by women. You know, and that's, you know, that's what it is. A lot of you guys, you, you've been raised by your, your moms and your grandmas and your aunties. And dad's just not in the picture. And grandpa's real quiet and he don't talk anyway. And then you go to school and all your teachers are girls. And you go to college and all your teachers are either women or you know, very, uh, you know, feminine men, feminists. And so we're taught, and then, oh, here's the other part. So back, so the, the point is, lots of times, and why I wanted to talk to you, just the men. Lots of times we're not told the truth about men, because women just don't know. And they see everything through women's eyes. So when it comes to your feelings, we're being told that we should get in touch with our feelings and we should express them in words and not to not be afraid to cry. But now that I'm getting older, I'm realizing, no, actually, that's good for women. Women have strong feelings. They're emotional and uh, they're driven by their feelings sometimes. So they need to... Uh, Keep them in check. And this is what helps them be well-adjusted. But men, young men, young kings, <laughs> that's not our way. As men, we should be like Vulcans. I mean, yeah, we have uh, emotions. But we shouldn't try to get rid of the uh, negative ones. I was watching a video and this guy was like, we have to learn how to suck it up because it is being frustrated, being angry, being uh, sick and tired of something, having these negative, being fearful. This for men is fuel. Uh, you know, let's say you're... Um, you got anxiety. You're always worried. And you never get a girl. And you never got enough money. Well, a lady is going to say, you know what you should do? You should go to therapy. You should learn to deal with your feelings of disappointment and your feelings of loneliness and your feelings of inadequacy. But a man who knows what he's talking about will tell you no. Use that to make changes. Use that to hone your vision. You know, every guy who's like in great shape has a story about when he wasn't in great shape and about how sick and tired he was of being fat and being ignored by women. <laughs> and so every day they use that frustration to get themselves up early in the morning, go for a run, start doing them push-ups. You know? Uh, 
The great things in life that men have achieved, have invented. Great symphonies that are written, stories that are written, were written and made by guys not because they were happy and well-adjusted in life. You know, don't try to be well-adjusted anymore. Don't try to, you know, yeah, get to know your feelings. But for crying out loud, do not express them and do not uh, try to wish them away. Use that, you know. Um, it's better to be effective and moving in, in the right direction than to try to just learn how to cope with something you don't like. <laughs> so that's my advice for men, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I, maybe we should just get on antidepressants. Go talk to somebody. Oh, doctor, I'm so depressed. <laughs> I'm so sad. I'm so sad all the time. Oh, why are you sad? Well, I'm broke and I hate my job and I had a bad childhood and I'm dreading the future. Oh, well here, you got two paths. You can either learn how to cope with these feelings or you can do something and get on your bike and, you know, change stuff. And then you'll feel better. Yeah, you have emotions. It's called a, a warning sign. It's called a... I don't know what it's called. I don't know. Now I'm just rambling. <laughs> Alright, that's all I had to figure out.